I'm going to say you're just a bit of a contrarian because if you watch CNBC or read CNBC.com or any other outlet, really, you hear 7% rates, it's really destroying demand out there and it's really hard to sell a house, it's hard for people to buy a house. But you're saying that's not really the case, especially when you look more closely at the local level. You have to explain. Absolutely. So when you look at, remember, rates are set by national and global uh, situations. When you look in, in real estate, it's priced at the neighborhood, street, and the local level. So when you're looking to buy, you have to understand exactly in your neighborhood what's going on. Is price is home price, depreci uh, price appreciation, is it moving down? Has it stabilized? And you have to figure out exactly what you're looking to do to buy in that neighborhood right now. So for instance, on, if you're looking to get a, a, a house right now and you're a buyer, you could utilize a, an arm, which is about 75 basis points below 7%. And potentially at the end of 22, or, I'm sorry, the end of 23 or 24, the Mortgage Bankers Association, we're predicting the 30 year fixed is going to be around 4.8. So if you think about that, in two years, you could buy the house and you could refinance it at about 2% less compared to where we are today. All right. So that, I got to say, Jeff, I, I think you would say even admit that's a pretty optimistic uh, forecast there. The rates are going to go down 2 percent in the future. Um, one other question. You kind of front run me on this one. When I saw your notes about arms, uh, they're obviously becoming more popular as people look for some relief on rates. Um, 75 basis points, a big deal over the life of a loan. Are arms as risky as they once were? Your forecast is for rates to go down, but of course they could go up. Yeah. So arms, listen, arms are a personal decision. When you, when you take an arm, you, you are betting on a period of time of three, five, or 10 years that when that resets, it's going to be lower than it is right now. And again, historically, when we look at where rates are right now, again, because of the things that happen globally, I, we predict that rates will obviously come back at some point over the course of the next couple of years, one to two percent. I don't view them as risky as they were. And when people got caught up in the financial crisis is they were taking arms, but they also had no equity in their houses. They were doing piggyback loans, 80 percent, 20. So they didn't have the equity that they have in their houses today, which is actually at an all time high, which is 11.5 trillion nationally. All right. So you say there's a playbook for both sellers and for buyers. I want to focus on the buyer's playbook right now. If you're a buyer out there, uh, obviously you should you generally are working with a real estate salesperson, often called a realtor. Yeah. What are the steps you should take if you're looking to buy in the near term, maybe before the end of 2022? It's a great question. So if I'm looking to buy in the near term, I'm going to work with my realtor. I'm going to work with my loan officer and I'm going to see, number one, what's my affordability? A lot of time in media headlines, we talk about affordability and they use data sets that aren't exactly how loans get uh, get made. So you never got to, number one, point down on that. Number two, when you're speaking with the realtor, you have to understand what's going on in that local market. You a um, there's no longer a, where you're bidding up two, three, four times as it was a year ago. So what are you looking to buy? What can you afford right now? And then what's going on that street level? And that's where you have to partner with your real estate agent to make sure that you're at the right place in a right area that you know the price is not going to decline too much over time.